hi everyone welcome to my channel so in this video we'll uh, we are going to start amphibian physiology uh, so this is experiment one in which we'll be doing recording of simple muscle twitch so uh, we'll discuss all the viva questions which uh, examiner is going to ask you uh, if a uh, simple muscle twitch graph in case uh, comes into play okay so there are lots of graph and uh, it basically depends on medical college to medical college actually uh, how they are going to uh, take the viva session so uh, it can be done two way uh, one way you can be given one graph and you have to perform all the calculation part and you have to answer whatever is uh, being asked in the graph right or second way is the examiner can have all the graph available and uh, putting uh, any graph before you and uh, they can ask any question regarding that right so this way uh, the viva questions can be asked but ultimately whatever the way is uh, you should be able to understand in this video what are what is simple muscle twitch and what are different viva questions uh, related to this graph okay uh, fine uh, so let's start what is simple muscle twitch first of all so the most important thing is the definition which is always being asked by examiners what is that so you have to actually uh, keep in mind some terms uh, which are unforgettable uh, so let us start recording of simple muscle twitch is the experiment what is simple muscle twitch basically uh, when you uh, apply a stimulus uh, to nerve okay uh, the muscle is responding and uh, the graph look like this so uh, this is a contraction phase this is a relaxation phase so the, here the stimulus was given this is point of stimulation ps okay so when uh, the stimulus is given the muscle respond like this so this is a mechanical contraction not action potential right so, because uh, we are basically uh, what is uh, being recorded here is we have um, uh, tied thread to a tendon and then we are measuring the movement of that tendon actually so that movement uh, is recorded on the paper here in form of this is contraction this is relaxation so basically how you will define it when a brief electric stimulus okay and that stimulus should be having adequate strength so when brief electric stimulus of adequate strength is applied to a nerve mind it you have to tell in this definition that where you are applying that uh, stimulus right so applied to a nerve okay and the supplied muscle or you can leave this word supplied the muscle respond by contraction followed by relaxation this is very easy definition you don't have to mug it up just see uh, you have to tell about stimulus is applied to a nerve and the muscle respond by contraction followed by relaxation this is very simple and you have to tell this is adequate strength uh, this like uh, sometime actually below threshold uh, stimulus is not able to excite a muscle that's why you have to tell adequate word here okay so this is a definition of simple muscle twitch which is very common so this uh, this is the graph of simple muscle twitch now uh, what is this graph let's talk about first so uh, this ps is point of stimulation okay and here the muscle started contraction so this duration is called latent period okay so it can be asked define latent period so the time duration between point of stimulation to start of contraction this is latent period then from this starting of the contraction phase till peak of the contraction phase this is the peak right so this is called contraction period and from peak till the end of relaxation is called relaxation period fine so you can be asked definition of these and the last is what are physiological curves so these are some curves even after relaxation the baseline is not stable and these curves are called physiological curves these are because of inertia of lever okay so uh, one more thing you can see now these are the periods which we have actually divided them so how to calculate these period that is important question here so uh, you can see a waveform below the graph this is how we have traced it uh, is basically this is called time tracing and how uh, this is uh, done by tuning fork what is tuning fork basically tuning fork uh, having 100 hertz frequency so when we vibrate it this structure is something like this so uh, holding from hinge we vibrate it and uh, of 100 hertz frequency so if we vibrate it and touch it on the the chymograph so the waveform is like this and which gives each wave is equal to 0.01 second because because this was of 100 hertz fine 
okay now you know that this is tuning fork time tracing this is graph and these are the phases so you can be asked to calculate these phases okay so you have to calculate it like you have to calculate the number of waves and you have to just comment it uh, by multiplying 0 0.01 second after it for example there are two wave, waves in latent period so what you have to do is latent period 2 into 0 0.01 so what is time for latent period or what is duration for latent period is 0 0.02 second fine the same way you can calculate the number of waves in contraction period and number of waves in relaxation period so as per this graph it came out to be contraction period 0 0.06 second relaxation period 0 0.055 second so here the number of waves came out to be uh, five and half right okay so uh, this is all about the simple muscle twitch now the last viva question is you can be asked what is latent period you have defined it right uh, and uh, it can be asked that what are causes of latent period what causes latent period basically so when we are uh, applying stimulus and the muscle started contract uh, contracting so what comes uh, uh, during that duration what is the physiological mechanism behind it so you should be able to understand that we are stimulating a now okay so the first point is the impulse is traveling through the now so that time taken comes under latent period then after now two muscle that is called neuromuscular junction okay so the what happens basically they are exocytosis of neurotransmitter occur and then the action potential of uh, muscle starting so neuromuscular junction delay comes under latent period then when the action potential comes to muscle then the muscle basically the action potential uh, leads to uh, the coupling between the dhpr and rhinodine receptor if you remember the muscle physiology and then the calcium is basically uh, calcium efflux occur from the sarcoplasmic reticulum so all the process is called ec coupling excitation contraction coupling okay uh, so that time uh, taken is also coming under latent period then last is when the contraction of muscle occur the tendon stretches right so that is called series elastic component so the stretching of series elastic component is the next step which comes under latent period and the last thing is when the tendon stretches the last thing stretches or uh, is the inertia of lever so how much long thread you have tied to it okay and then till pen the pen is moving on the paper so the lever that uh, instrument is lever so inertia of the lever so all these five points are causes of latent period which is very important okay uh, so uh, for example uh, examiner is asking uh, that what are causes of latent period so you have to name all the five and you have to name likewise also because this is in order fine so uh, i think the point is clear so this is all about simple muscle twitch the experiment number one of amphibian physiology if you have any query you can comment below thanks for watching